is it worth it? Yo, what's going on? So today I wanted to get down with the pros and cons of the platform or the output platform desk. I've had this desk for about a month now and I've only really tried it with one setup. I've moved a couple things around and it's actually pretty easy to change the way you can move things around with all the clever cable management routes. But um, yeah, I guess quick ethics notes. I bought this expensive ass desk with my own money, no disquenta, and I don't even use output plugins or anything like that. So let's get brutal. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I could get brutal with this thing, but there isn't much to not like about it. Most of my cons are relative and can possibly be seen as a pro at the same time. Um, for example, first con is its size. This desk is massive, especially when you have the keyboard tray fully out. It's 51 inches. That's over four feet deep. Its width is five feet. So it's almost like working on this perfect square. But I mean, this being a con can also be seen as a pro in some cases. For example, I'm easily able to fit old vintage gear on here, no problem. But with that said, because uh, I am so far back when this is fully extended, I have to set the font in Ableton Live to basically geezer mode so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. The font size is massive. And uh, I guess another con with that being there, because it has this like layered structure, these different platforms, if you will, the monitoring position is pretty high up. I have my monitor on one of these VESA arm mounts, which is pretty handy so I can put it away when I don't need it and bring it back down when I do. And those are actually pretty good at mounting other stuff. I think most of the electron boxes have that mount. I know the DigiTac does for sure to the back side of them, so you can actually use them mount it up onto your table or whatever. And I have a link down below to the VESA arm that I use in case you're interested. The other thing I've seen is people use this desk with the key, their keyboard, like their QWERTY style keyboard on top and other things down below. I mean, this is the keyboard tray. So depending on what type of nerd you are, this is either correct or incorrect. But um, what I might try maybe is moving my QWERTY keyboard up top which means I can then raise, you know, my chair height. So I'm not so scrunched up, if you will, which will then keep me more eye level with the desk. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, my MPC, I don't want it to go. <laughs> and honestly, the other thing that really kept me, like the one thing that kept me from buying this desk for ages was that it was practically sold out forever and that these three rack spaces back here are 3U, not 4U. And I use the Decker's Dream constantly, and I would have loved to have that dead center in my face right away, but it won't fit. And I won't set it on top of the desk because I'm not sure if you've ever been around a Deckard's Dream or a Kijimi, but the corners are so freaking sharp, especially on the Kijimi. It basically almost slit my wrist wide open just brushing up against it. So I can't even imagine the type of damage it would do on top of a desk sliding around. Also, if these rack spaces were for you, that would make my monitor even higher, which means my neck would be even more broken. And um, the last con would be the price. Dear sweet Xenu, this thing is expensive as fuck. I started off with the basic color and then I decided, well, I might as well get the color I want. So it went from the price tag of 549 to 649 US for the dark brown color, right? And then I said, well, this is officially expensive. I might as well get the keyboard tray. So that went from 649 to 799, okay. 800 smackers for a desk I'm gonna love for the rest of my life and it's gonna look great. Not bad, I'll do it, sure. But I completely forgot about shipping and taxes. After all that, to ship and tax to California, it came out to a total of $973.91. It still hurts, $100 for shipping and 75 for taxes. So the price is definitely not a pro. And I guess another uh, bonus con is when mine came in, it was pretty blemished with a tons of extra glue everywhere, especially on the keyboard tray. But transitioning to pros, they quickly sent me an extra keyboard um, that was immaculate. So I'm very happy about that, that it wasn't just some weird run around automated system or anything like that. The tech support on this desk was 
really, really good. Another pro, like I mentioned earlier, is the size. Honestly, from what I was reading online, I thought it was gonna be way bigger. And I'm not saying it's small, it's definitely huge, but it's not really out of proportion. And uh, you know, all the cable management is really good on this thing, it's a dream. There's so many ways to configure what you want out of this desk and so many different ways to kind of route and hide things. And I mean, you can see all my cables down below, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, I really like these two little holes. There's one up here and one over here on top of the desk. They allow me to run things down into the keyboard tray or say my power cables are too short. I can run it either through there or down through there to kind of get to the back a bit quicker. And on the back, it actually comes with this super nice railing thing. I don't really know what it is or what to call it, but it's nice. And I also have this really long power strip that fits barely a little wonky, but it, it but it fits and it's absolutely perfect for me. Also, along the underside, there are a ton of other holes and places to route cables. Uh, just helps with all the neatness, I guess. Is that a word? I also love the color of this thing. I almost went with the gray color, but last minute I was able to change the color. And thanks to their super quick tech support that I mentioned earlier, got a response right away. No issue, even within days before mine was supposed to ship out. And on top of the way this thing looks, which is clearly amazing, I love it. It's actually built really well. I was able to already stand on it to do something, uh, to reach something, I should say, and uh, I'm still alive, so <laughs> thanks, Output. On top of that, it was shipped in three of those IKEA-style flat pack boxes, three in total, one being insanely heavy. I'm guessing it was this top piece here, so be prepared to have some help when putting it together. Oh, got a shipment. Ooh, look at this. Oh, actually, I shouldn't show you this, but um, can I? Nah, something new and fun, but uh, where was I? Yeah, out of, have be prepared to have some help because this thing is heavy. It's easy to click together, um, so it's not out of difficulty. It's just the weight of it is pretty, it's substantial. <laughs> Other than that, I love this thing. Is it worth the $1,000 price tag? Ooh, I don't know. I was lucky enough to be in a position where I had some extra cash and I wanted to focus in my workflow a bit since I was kind of suffering from analysis paralysis. You know, just trying to think of what I wanted to do first when it came to a bunch of random gear scattered throughout my place. So, you know, paralyzed by possibilities. So it's definitely helped in curbing that for me by forcing myself to only use the desk space that I have to make music. But that does not mean I couldn't have done that with my $70 Ikea desk I had before, nor does it mean that I am now making better music because I got this desk, you know? So um, yeah, I'm super happy with it, but damn, it was expensive. And uh, yeah, well, that's it from me. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you got something out of it. I appreciate you sticking around and kicking it. Uh, if you wanna support the channel, feel free to buy some sample packs or merch or whatever. I got some free stuff up there too, but you kicking it is more than enough. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. You already know the drill. Share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace.